All right, this is gonna be a small tutorial on how to make an image transparent in GIMP. So you wanna go ahead and open the file that you wanna edit. So uh, I have mine in my clipboard. I'm just gonna do it from clipboard. So here's an image that needs to be transparent, but cur currently is not. So we wanna take the background color and remove it from the image. Uh, to do that, we need to use a, an image to alpha mask. Uh, so we wanna take all the color in the image that is black and remove it. So we do this by going to colors and down to color to alpha. And the color we wanna remove is black. And you'll see that it removes all the black from this image. Now the problem with that is it removes it from every pixel. So you'll see that the black in the, the bees um, stripe there, it was removed, but um, without cutting all of the individual shapes out of the image manually, uh, this is the best effect that you're going to get uh, with the smallest amount of effort. So we're gonna go ahead and take this layer that is transparent, because if we take this layer as it is, and copy and paste it over top of another image. Uh, because all the black was removed from the, uh, the image, the, the background is bleeding through. And you can see that's true for the scion here as well. So we need to duplicate the colors in the image and stack them to, to remove that alpha channel. There are other ways you can do this. I'm just going to copy the paste, copy and paste the image on top of itself multiple times. So I'm just going to hit Control A uh, uh, to select all, uh, Control C to copy, Control V to paste a couple times. So there you go. And you'll and you'll notice that this image is very bright. Um, that's because all the black has been removed from the image. Um, when we paste it on top of another image, it'll keep its brightness. Um, and th you don't really have um, much you can do for the, for the back color unless you paint it yourself. Uh, you can get around that by painting a black. So if I make a new layer here and paint a black, it'll do that. So you can see, see I can paint a black in there to darken the, the parts that are, are, too, are too bright. This is the easiest way to do it without manually cutting the parts of the image out. and then manually delete the color. I need to add an alpha channel to this image because one doesn't exist. But you see that it removes the black, but the problem is it doesn't feather the edges well enough. And you'd really have to um, do a lot of image editing to get rid of the, uh, this problem with the, with the pixels here. And the, the result looks pixelated and worse um, than just removing the black from the image. So I find whenever I'm streaming um, that this, this result is uh, in, instantaneous to perform and requires no upkeep. You just drag and drop the image and it works. Whereas this takes, uh, can take hours of editing to make look correct. Um, this would be an ultimate ultimately be a better looking result, but this is, um, you know, one, 10 seconds, 20 seconds tops to do properly. 
um, if you're going to use a background image um, that's that's not uh, black or white, like if the background color was cyan or green or something like that, it'd be m much harder to, you'd have to use a chroma key operation to do that. But that's not too much, much more difficult to do in a streaming software. So you can just chroma key out your green. Um, but, but yeah, for streaming, this works well enough. And yeah, uh, that's about it. Okay, thanks, bye.